the Atlanta Tribune in collaboration with the Cafe Mocha Radio Show. This is the month of March where we celebrate women in this first annual Salute Her Super Women Super making a difference in our community awards ceremony. Our celebrity host for this segment, Angelique Perrin, presenting this award to Frederica Whitfield, the 2014 Media Trailblazer. So sit back and become inspired. Thank you to all the honorees. We have a few more to go. Yes, um, we Cafe do. Mocha Salute Her. Yes. Let's hear it again for the Atlanta Tribune super women who have undeniably done great things in the community and are doing great things across the country. Let us all salute her. Ernestine Gary, Cheryl Lomax, and Reverend Bernice King. Thank you for your work and dedication, ladies. And as we continue, we have some women we want to honor in a variety of fields. And this first woman, I remember the day I was on the air and saw her on CNN and I was like, <gasps> I was very excited. She was an inspiration to me, a woman of color on CNN doing her thing. So I'm happy to be standing here and I think it's on purpose. Our first honoree is <laughs> sitting over there, Frederica Whitfield. And by the way, if you went to Howard, if you were in the School of Communications, Miss Sheila Eldridge, uh, our next honoree is, she does have a Bachelor of Arts in Journalism from Howard. She's been moving forward and, and doing her thing in journalism ever since. She's currently a celebrated news anchor for CNN, US based right here in Atlanta, the network's world headquarters. Before joining CNN, Ms. Whitfield was a correspondent for NBC News, uh, she was on NBC Nightly News, The Tonight, The Today Show, The uh, Dateline with NBC. And since joining CNN in 2002, Ms. Whitfield has reported from the Persian Gulf region during the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, Beijing, China during the 2008 Summer Olympic Games, and Washington, D.C. during the 2009 inauguration. Frederica Whitfield has earned multiple awards, including a broadcasting, well, the Emmy, okay, let's just call it what it is. She has an Emmy at home on the shelf. <laughs> she is a woman of courage. She um, is amazing, and we are calling her our 2014 Media Trailblazer. Welcome, Mrs. Ms. Frederica Whitfield. Come on up. Thank you. Thank you so much. What a beautiful honor. Uh, thank you to all of you. I appreciate this. And wow, what, um, what a privilege uh, to be saluted in this manner. Thank you to all the Mocha moms in the house. And I really feel, if not just obligated, but I feel like it's my duty that um, as you salute me, I have to salute a lot of hers and a lot of hymns. Uh, who have helped me along the way, who continue to support me, um, who I really feel like I couldn't, I couldn't feel kind of that semblance of control at work or at home without the people that I'd love to mention. Uh, among the salute her and hymns, of course, my parents, who of course instilled in us at a very early age to just think big, reach big, and along the way in that journey be as kind as you can to all of those around you. And then, of course, um, my husband's not here. He's a big salute him that I'd like to um, praise because I feel like that African proverb, it takes a village. Oh boy, does it ever apply, I know, to your lives, but certainly to mine. It takes a village and it takes a team. And part of my team is, of course, my husband, who's unable to be here because he recently had surgery and so he wasn't able to be here. However, he is all hands on deck. 50-50, uh, and it has been that way um, throughout the building of my career, the building of his career. We're supportive of one another, and I think all of you can identify with the fact, the importance of whoever you choose to um, have as your spouse or your partner. Uh, you have to be individuals, and you have to be supportive of one another in your endeavors. And when the family grows, or if there is a family, it's gotta be 50-50. Uh, for John Glenn, it's all hands on deck. Um, and also a salute him goes to my nine-year-old son, John Glenn. He's the mini 
the mini version of the big John Glenn. There he is raising his hand. <laughs> Shy he is not. But I say this because, you know, it was his dreams, big dreams of, I just want a baby brother or a baby sister. And because his dreams are so powerful, he got both. So we had twins 16 months ago. We've got a, a baby boy and a baby girl. And in large part because of uh, little John's big dreams, and he's a great big brother. <laughs> <laughs> Shazam! Yeah, there he is over there. Uh, because yeah, he's a great big brother and, and very supportive and it's part of that village, that team. Among the hers that I'd love to salute, uh, I've got a number of friends here who have been like sisters and godmothers uh, to me. And I'd love to, uh, to mention Miss Nancy Price over there, if she could raise her hand. Uh, big time because nine years ago uh, when we were talking with Miss Nancy Price about, you know, would you come on board and help us, you know, help us with our, our newborn, uh, she said, yeah, you know, um, how long did you expect to have us? And because my husband and I are kind of in sync and thinking in a lot of ways, we were both in unison without ever rehearsing it saying, forever. <laughs> and nine years later, she is still part of the equation, and she really is the backbone and, and the glue uh, and, and really a guiding light for us as we uh, build our family. And um, to my great friends, Frida, who I've always considered to be kind of my godmother. Uh, she's my boss at NBC News, and she continues to be a beacon for me. She is the one that I, I lunch with, I talk with, whether it's a career crossroad or whether it's a personal crossroad, and I thank you for that. And so, mwah. And, and I love our, our lunches with um, Miss Bonnie and Miss Jody, and we, we dream together, we commiserate. We don't commiserate a whole lot because we're just happy. It's half glass full. But, you know, we bond together and we talk about those big dreams and, and how, uh, as good friends, as sisters, we continue to support one another. And we also help, help each other kind of navigate the road. Uh, to my great friend Mary Jane, who's also here, uh, I have to thank you profusely for helping to feed me in those times of uh, the newborns. If for any of you moms out there who know those nursing days, you never get a chance to nourish yourself. And Mary Jane would be there to bring me and feed me <laughs> so that I could feed my babies. <laughs> and to Fran, my college roommate, Go Bison, H-U. Fran and I, uh, we were freshman roommates. And uh, I got my job at NBC News, and I was based here in Atlanta, and I was at a, at a traffic light. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to find a new way to go home, and I'm just going to get to know the city a little bit. And all of a sudden, I hear this, Fred, Fred. And I look over, and there's Fran. And I'm like, what are you doing here? She's a Houston girl. Why are you not in Texas? She relocated. It was just meant to be. And that's just how it is sometimes, you know. As you reach for the stars, and the stars and the moon align, you find yourself uh, together in this you know, beautiful kaleidoscope of opportunity, of, of life's opportunities. And it's so wonderful, her laugh is infectious, and I miss that laugh from freshman year, and I'm so glad I get to, that it fills my life once again. I'm glad we've reunited. Thank you so much to all of you, all of those who I'd like to salute, the hers and the hymns who um, make up my village, my team, so that I can reach for the stars and so that uh, we can all uh, try to do the best that we can with the time that we have here. Thank you so much. And of course, thank you to the Mocha Moms. I truly appreciate it. <laughs>